it does exactly what you think. It kind of rewrites your content to be more human. That way it doesn't show up as AI created content. I was actually planning to make a video myself, but they reached out in the meantime. So that's a crazy coincidence. Anyway, let's test it out. I'm going to create a content using ChatGPT and I'm actually using an AI PRM extension. But let's run the content that I just generated through say GPT-0 and you can see it detects like 3 out of those 41 sentences are AI created. Well the whole thing is actually AI created but again the extension helps out a bit. Anyway let's use the undetectable tool to improve it. You can see that you can select a bunch of use cases from university, journalism, I'll say marketing. And this thing is kind of like an article so I'll say article and seems like it can take 15,000 characters per prompt. Okay. You can either make it more readable, have a good balance of it or make it more human which I assume is the most extreme setting. Let's keep it that way. Of course they don't encourage academic misconduct so you are not supposed to use this for your you know college assignment or something. Don't do it. You can directly check for AI here itself which is cool and you can see it has been flagged in many places. Okay let's click humanize. I'll sign up with my email and they actually gave me some credits to test out. I'll click humanize and wait. Okay, there we go. We got something. And apparently this copy is good to go. It's not going to be flagged anywhere. I'm going to copy that output and check manually again. It's going to be the same result, but let's see. GPT-0, I mean, it still shows kind of 39% AI, but still you can see zero out of 42 sentences were actually detected as AI, which means this tool will not flag your content as AI created. I know it seems to be weirdly contradicting. I mean, if it is zero out of 42, then what do you mean 39% probability? Like that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, no sentences are highlighted as you can see. So for our purpose, which is create a, you know, human readable SEO friendly content, this is good enough because before you can see that we had a couple of sentences highlighted as AI created. So that will be flagged. And I'm assuming it's only 3 out of 41 because I'm using the AI PRM extension. Let's try to generate the same prompt and chat GPT without the AI PRM extension, you know, stock chat GPT and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to use this text and run it through the AI detector and see what happens. Oh, see, 7 out of 52. So it's definitely flagged. And again, if I paste it here at undetectable, Maybe I'll change the readability to university level and make it an essay. Let's see what happens. I'll check for AI and well, yeah, it is recognized as AI in many places. I will now humanize it. Let's see what happens. And there you go. In a couple of seconds, you have your reformed text or rewritten text. You can humanize it again for free if you wish. But yeah, if you run it through any of those detection tools, 0 out of 50, we are good to go now. None of these sentences are flagged as AI created, so your content doesn't trigger any spam filters. That's a big deal by the way, especially if you're say writing emails and stuff. You don't want your email content to be moved to the spam folder. AI tools can be really helpful when you're creating you know, bulk emails. You don't want to be doing manual work every time. But the problem is the AI filters will sometimes send your email to trash or you know, spam folders. This tool can kind of rewrite it in a human way and make sure that you can avoid those spam filters. Now I'm not saying go ahead and spam people with your human like content, but I'm saying this will help creators. I've said this before and I'll say it again, AI is meant to augment your creativity and not replace it. It seems like they have a flexible pricing model, that's good, and there's a 50% discount on their yearly plan, maybe you should take use of that. I like that you can select exactly how many words you will need per month. And based on that, your pricing will change. That's good because tools like this may not have a one size fits all solution. You can even specify exact number of words if you have a specific need for your business. Honestly, I think the yearly plan is good enough for most people. Let's try running it through an email template, shall we? I'll create an email template using just regular chat GPT. A very simple prompt, you know, nothing fancy. And there you go, it created a cold email prompt for me. I'll run it through this uh, AI detection thing and see what happens. Oh wow, 19 out of 30 sentences are AI created and it has detected that. So this will definitely go to spam if I send it like this. Let's run this email template through undetectable AI, see what happens. I'll paste it here. I wish there was a template for email. I don't see one. I'll just select something like uh, business material. I guess emails kind of fall into that category. And we could make this more readable, but let's keep it more human, which is like very aggressive against AI detectors. That's what we want. We can edit a few basic information and click on humanize. All right, let's wait. Okay, there we have it. Let's check this. It should be good to go, but let's manually check again anyways. Copy pasted at GPT-0, check the origin. 
Uh, yeah, there you go. Zero out of 32. So all sentences are clear now. At least based on my experience, this shouldn't trigger any, you know, spam filters. And the sentences themselves look pretty decent. The original copy itself was pretty good or at least good enough. I mean, I don't recommend you send it as it is. I always recommend you edit it by yourself. Like I would never generate something and use it just like that. I will always edit the copy. But still, being able to, you know, generate a draft that won't trigger any spam filters or AI detectors is actually pretty cool. It's crazy how we are moving so fast, you know. We had these AI tools that will make these content. Then we had these tools will detect those content. And now we have another tool that can bypass those detector tools. What next? I mean, this is why I love tech, you know. It's just always moving ahead towards something better and more interesting. So on their help page, I noticed that alongside English, they support all of these other languages, which is pretty impressive, you know. Let's test it out, shall we? I'll test out a uh, kind of a regional, very specific language like Kannada. It has its own text and has a very particular dialect. So let's see how this does. There's my text. Uh, it looks okay. It's not amazing. I would, again, definitely edit this, but still, let's just test it for the sake of trying out for the first time. Oh, it looks like um, these AI detection tools are not that good at detecting non-English content. So I guess we are good in that case. You know, if you're a regional language creator or writer, you won't have as much problem with the AI detection tools. At least not yet, I guess. And uh, for some reason, this undetectable AI tool is having trouble, you know, verifying this AI content. It could be because of one of these AI detectors is not working well. You know, maybe the copy leaks or sapling or something is not working, I assume. I tried with Spanish and oh, looks like it's all good to go even though I literally generated this using ChatGPT. But the reason why the undetectable AI tool is failing is probably because of the, you know, the characters. I think it doesn't work well with any language that doesn't have English characters, I'm guessing. So let me test that out. Yeah, it's not generating any like readable content for Kannada. Let's try Spanish. Okay, there you go. So it did create something for Spanish. I'll create something in Hindi and see what happens. Hindi again has its own, you know, characters and all that. Let's see. Nope, the tool doesn't seem to work with non-English characters as I assumed. And by the way, this Hindi text is actually uh, a rickroll. I rickroll you in Hindi. I think that's the world's first. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, let's try another you know, non-English language with English characters, say German, for example. I'll create it using ChatGPT. There you go. Copy it and use it here. Yep, it works. So my theory seems right. You know, undetectable, guys. I mean, I'm not sure what you meant by you support Kannada and Hindi because native scripts aren't working. Like the, the native characters don't seem to be supported. It would be really cool if it did work. Maybe in the future, you know. But this is a great start. You saw how easy it is to now rewrite a AI created content to be more human. So this tool will help you humanize AI content so that you can again free up your time and focus on actual creativity instead of repeated scripts. Of course, with any tool, you have to use it responsibly and not misuse it. It ultimately comes down to your morals and ethics, you know, that's why they have that checkbox for no academic misconduct. So it's up to you to use it properly. Anyway, this was really nice. I'm really glad I got to see it in its early like developmental stages. But yeah, kudos to Undetectable team. Thanks again for supporting this video.